Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. We are not embarrassed to let this crowd know that if you do not help us, we have no ability in ourselves. You are the doer of these things and you will take all the glory. You have brought your people from different states and there are so many more connecting with us online. Families, ministries, businesses, individuals, hungry and panting for a touch. Tonight, oh God, help us. We cry for strength that is beyond us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Luke. The book of Luke. Luke 13. I just want to quickly um, share a few principles that I believe will help us. Not everyone is here because he or she is sick. Please sit anywhere. If, if, if the if outside is, is packed full, I really apologize. There is so much we can do. Hallelujah. If you can sit on the floor, wherever. After all, that's where we started from, right? Jesus said, tell the people to sit on the floor. If you want to eat bread, you must sit down and sometimes you don't need to be embarrassed it's better to sit on the floor and receive a miracle that will drop you on a real throne hallelujah there are a few reasons why um people in the kingdom do not experience the life and the power and the glory of god in their lives and i just want us to identify a few of these reasons and then we will pray hallelujah number one number one and please take what i'm saying serious it may be very simple number one is that they are not born again they are not even interested they've not surrendered their hearts to the lord i know that the the subject of being born again and giving our heart to the lord is something that not many ministries and churches emphasize again because we are carried away by the revelation of the mercy of God. That God can save you whether you are born again or not. God can heal you. After all, everybody who was healed in scripture could not have been born again because Jesus had not died and risen. Whilst that is true, listen, let me tell you something. To be born again is not just a way to get to heaven. It is the way of safety. It is the only guarantee. To come out of the grip of this devil that is ravaging people and ravaging societies so number one lack of total surrender i'm not talking about this kind of born again that many people do very interesting and funny so-called born again experience that has no transformation to back it up let me tell you if you are truly born again it must change you you go and visit a herbalist you will never leave that place the same whether you have faith or not is irrelevant you must live with something will leave you 
and something will be added to your life so why will you believe that you came to the king surrendered your entire life and nothing changes the way you used to speak is the same way you used to speak the things you used to do same things no transformation you say after all it's not about the works that i do it's about the grace of god you read the book of revelation and see those who were cast into the lake of fire the bible says they were judged according to their works right maybe after this we'll start a series and we'll teach on the books in heaven as revealed because the bible tells us that there are plenty books in heaven we'll be looking through the word of god what is contained in these books hallelujah again and again jesus came and he kept saying it again and again that his purpose was coming of coming was to reconcile man the name of the lord the bible tells us is a what strong tower said the righteous runs into it and they are saved hallelujah that's the number one reason let's look at luke luke 12 very quickly or 13 luke 13 jesus said something very interesting i'll read from verse 10 but the key verse there is verse 16. luke 13 if you are there say amen and he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the sabbath and behold there was a woman who had what will come there notice what did he say the woman had did he say the woman was sick he said she had what a spirit that caused infirmity it didn't matter how it appeared physically the bible tells us that it was as a result of the presence of a real spirit that's why the bible says how god anointed jesus of nazareth all right acts chapter 10 verse 38 it says with the holy ghost and with power and he went about doing good and healing those who were sick who were what oppressed hallelujah Eighteen years and was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself. Verse 12. And when Jesus saw her, he called unto her and said, Woman, thou art loose from thine infirmity. 13. And he laid his hands on her and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. And then the rulers had issues with it. Let's just jump to verse 15. The Lord then answered him and said, Thou hypocrite. Do not each of you on the Sabbath day lose his ox or his ass from the stall and lead him away to watering. Verse 18. And ought not this woman, what is her qualification to be healed? Being what? A daughter of? Aha. Uh -huh. So it's not ought not this woman being a nice woman or being a weak and a sick woman. Ought not this woman being a daughter of Abraham? Jesus was communicating a revelation. Because he said in Galatians 3.29, there about, he says, And if ye be Christ, huh, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. So, the reality of redemption, redemption is not just to glorify you alone, it is also a rescue mission. That means if you are not saved, genuinely saved, by surrendering totally to Jesus Christ, you can be delivered, one gallon of anointing oil can be poured on you, I guarantee you, these devils will live because of the fiery presence of God, but you are not free. Are you seeing the reason why a lot of people get healed? They get delivered. Right? And then after a while, Jesus gave us a revelation that when a demon leaves a man, it goes through arid regions seeking for a place of refuge. And finding not, it would, it would tell itself, let me go back to where? My house. My house. Watch this. And you go back and see that person swept, clean, but not occupied. Swept, clean, but empty. And it will gather seven other demons greater than itself and return to the man so that the end of that man 
is even worse than the beginning the issue of the salvation of our souls is very very important gives us the license to be victorious both in this life and even after this place there are so many believers who want to receive things from god god i want you to heal me i want you to bless me i want you to change my story i want you to do this and that but the sincere truth is that many people do not want to surrender from to, unto god totally we want to use him as an errand boy you begin to talk to people about their salvation and they get offended i mean christians believers not even unbelievers they just get offended at once i was born in a christian house in fact i'm an elder in my church it doesn't matter the scribes were the ones who brought the greatest resistance to jesus not even the sinners the religious people having a christian name is not the same as submitting totally to jesus christ and there are people here tonight you've been around the things of god i don't care whether you're a pastor a bishop whatever you are you need to get it right the devil has legal access to invade any life that does not have the seal of the holy spirit through redemption are you getting me now i use the word legal access that means if you are not born again you are the devil's property whether you believe it or not is irrelevant on legal access adam gave satan the authority of the earth that was why when jesus came in the flesh even jesus could not insult satan and do certain things until he was glorified satan told him follow me and let's climb a mountain and jesus went followed him he showed him the glories in a moment of time and he said just bow to me and i will give you all of this for it was delivered unto me hallelujah we must take the issue of our salvation very seriously and somewhere along this meeting we are going to be making an altar call and i know that there are people who will come and surrender everything and say lord i'm tired of playing games with you i mean business hallelujah so number one lack of total surrender to the will of god number two this is very very important number two ignorance I did a small jot in here I said no or wrong knowledge a man who is ignorant and a man who has the wrong information they are all the same are you getting my point everybody say ignorance Psalm 82 verse 5 psalm 82 verse 5 brothers and sisters knowledge in this kingdom is your key to walking experientially in victory can we read together it's projected one to read hold on who are the day who are this day that know not media can you go back to verse one just verse one quickly before we come to five let's see who the day are so that we are not confused at all everyone read one to read And judge it among the among the this is this is a meeting of people who are they they are the gods he said know ye not that ye are gods so we are talking about believers here yet god is still querying them he's saying the earth is out of course because there's something wrong verse 5 he says they know not although they are gods they know not neither do they understand he said they walk in darkness confusion ignorance and as a result all the foundations of the earth are out of course verse 6 but have i not said ye are and all of you are what children of the most high next verse says but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes have i not said unto you ye are gods and that all of you are children of the most high but lack of knowledge will make you die like mere men it's not enough to be saved 
you must be equipped with the revelation that sets you above hallelujah hallelujah i did a little experiment um somewhere in abuja and i'm going to do it right now stand up mike stand up stand up come my dear stand up please come just one minute everybody watch do you play keyboard go and sit down there just play anything you know how to play please very quickly let's save time everybody watch this lady the problem is not with the keyboard watch this just play anything be very confident i think you should celebrate her come on she's she's even clapping for herself hallelujah she revealed to you her level of knowledge as far as walking this is concerned mike sit down and play anything just please. Hold on. What's the difference? Five fingers, both of them have it. Two eyes, both of them have. Is that true? Same keyboard, same chair, same conditions. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, this sister may get angry and say, Kai, this keyboard is not well tuned. That's, what, that's the excuse a lot of believers are giving, right? But the Bible tells us they know not. So it is not that it is not possible. They know not. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Two people sit on the same keyboard. Two people on the same stage of life. Exposed to the same opportunities. Exposed to the same challenges. Exposed to the same predicaments. Yet there are other people soaring victoriously as if Satan does not exist. And then there are others that have been buffeted by Satan. Everybody say ignorance ignorance is a terrible thing in the spirit because it can make you suffer the same thing an unbeliever will suffer galatians chapter 4 now it says an heir you don't need to turn there for time's sake as long as he's a child one who is entitled to the blessings of royalty but as long as he's a child wine void of knowledge hallelujah he said he differed not from a slave but he's under tutors and governors until the time appointed. Ignorance. The kingdom of God is a system. Write it. I've said this thing again and again. It's not enough to call Christianity a race. You must see the kingdom of God as a system. The kingdom of God has a financial system. There is a system in the kingdom that keeps people healthy people don't get healthy by luck please get this there is a system in the kingdom that keeps people protected there is a system in the kingdom that keeps people blessed there is a system in the kingdom that makes people successful are you getting what i'm saying now many believers are born again but we lack the knowledge the revelation the understanding of how the system the structure of the kingdom is built so we keep living our lives based on guesswork hallelujah let me talk about finance a little because it concerns everybody again and again there is the economic meltdown families all kinds of things are happening to people but i want you to know that god will be an irresponsible god to plant us in the earth without creating a system for our welfare and blessing every kingdom has an economic system are you getting what i'm saying and if you understand that system no matter where you are now it's only a matter of time the system has a force that compels you to be victorious because the power of god's word is that when the word of god is sent in any place it must create a garden of eden out of that place otherwise it will not stop working hallelujah the kingdom of god brothers and sisters is made of systems what are the laws that govern finance for instance right very quickly i think i should just chip it in because the issue of money and finance is very important 
many of us just know that the way to be blessed in the kingdom for instance is just go to school get a job hope you get promoted that's wonderful but i'm sorry to tell you that's not the that's not the system of god hallelujah that kind of system will only lead to heart attack and stroke with time because no matter how hard working you are it just will not be enough it will make you stingy it will make you greedy you will never be able to have enough brothers and sisters there is a provision in the kingdom it has nothing to do with age it has nothing to do with gender it has nothing to do with race the bible says for in every nation i have seen that god is no respecter of person but that in every nation the principles that has equal value everywhere across the earth genesis 8 22 that's the law that governs wealth and prosperity in the kingdom it says as far as the earth remains seed time and harvest summer and winter cold and heat day and night shall not cease this was a pronunciation that came from the mouth of god himself hallelujah very very important deuteronomy 28 verse 1 says if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord to do and observe all that i command thee this day that you shall be exalted above all nations and these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you and it begins to list it many of us like claiming the blessings without the conditions abraham according to scripture represents the prototype of what god calls a blessed man and in isaiah chapter 51 from verse 1 to 3 the bible says look unto abraham your father and to sarah that bear thee he says for i called him alone and i blessed him and i increased him in other words if you want to be blessed in the kingdom i have put a template for you understudy his life jesus was speaking to the jews he says if ye be the sons of abraham you will do the works of abraham in other words it's not about claiming there are principles that abraham followed so you look onto abraham as a model as a principle the bible says that follow them who through faith and patience have obtained the promise not are obtaining it they have obtained it listen in the kingdom the bible says as for the ancient path don't invent one the road has already been found you will struggle fruitlessly forever find out and walk he said as for the ancient parts as from those who have found it and when you find it walk therein he said and you shall find rest for your souls praise the lord praise the lord every herbalist every every satanist every occultist knows that wealth and prosperity is spiritual if you suddenly see benga for instance next week and you see him unusually blessed everybody will look at him and say you have gone somewhere not you have done something you have gone somewhere you went to ask questions somewhere but there is a there is an economic principle i just feel like that's really not my emphasis but i think i need to just say it so that we can get certain things what are the principles number one tithing let me just write it very quickly tithing tithing i know that we have taught again and again in this place but for the sake of probably those who are coming for the first time please look at me if your giving in the house of god is with the mentality of donation you will die broke forever are you getting me there are many people who give in the house with the mindset of donation we want to help the needy this needy church i'm a rich person or i'm mm -mm. you must give in the kingdom understanding that number one you love god and number two you are engaging the lord that releases the supply of heaven tithing when abraham came back from the war the bible says he met with a man called melchizedek hallelujah and he said melchizedek blessed abraham as a result of his giving his tithe he blessed abraham and said blessed be abraham son of the most high possessor 
of the heavens and the earth and abraham's destiny opened up malachi chapter 3 from verse 8 to 12 begins to tell us the contemplation between god and the nation of israel he says will a man rob god from verse 8 he says yet he have robbed me he said wherein have we robbed you this is god speaking calling people robbers he said you people have robbed me hallelujah in malachi chapter 1 he begins to talk to them about the kinds of offerings they bring to god and he said look at the kind of animals you bring you bring lame animals and all of this give this to your governor and see if he will accept it and then he now begins to tell us will a man rob god he said wherein have we robbed he said in tithes and offerings and then he says you are cursed with a curse are you seeing that now that one is not the cause of the law is the cause is is the woe that follows anyone who is not interested in being faithful in tithing then verse 10 says bring ye how many how many bring ye all not some all the tithes into the storehouse he said and prove me here with saith the lord if i will not number one open unto you the windows of heaven right that you will not have room enough to contain it number three he says and i will rebuke the devourer for your sake and he shall not destroy the fruit of your ground neither shall your vine cast its young before its time hallelujah then he talks about you being blessed and you being a delightsome land all the nations will call you blessed a delightsome land a favored land seven prophetic blessings for being a faithful let me tell you something every time you are not faithful in tithing the heavens are scripturally entitled to be closed over your finances it doesn't matter how you pray and beg god the devourer is permitted to come into your life it doesn't matter how hard you walk for i have seen that the race is not to the swift and the battle is not to the strong hallelujah the Bible says, except the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord watches over the city. He said, the watchmen watch it but in vain. It is vain to wake up in, early in the morning and sleep late in the night. Only to eat the bread of sorrow. He said, but he giveth unto his beloved sleep. Hallelujah. So your giving or your tithing. Number two is your giving. Luke 6 38 give and it will be given unto you another way of putting it don't give and what will happen it will not be given unto you as simple as that it's a non-negotiable condition give and it shall be given unto you the bible says press down shaken together running over shall men give unto your bosom for with the same measure you give that is the same measure you'll be given hallelujah God will not bring you into the earth knowing the importance of finance and leave you stranded. I'm not talking about this money-mongering prosperity teaching that is just an issue of gimme, gimme, gimme. I'm talking of revelation that produces decent results in your life where you understand that the finances of the kingdom has a mission. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 8 verse 9 Ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor that ye through his poverty might become rich hallelujah second corinthians 8 from verse 6 or second corinthians 9 from verse 6 down begins to tell you he that soweth sparingly shall reap sparingly he that soweth bountifully shall reap bountifully hallelujah he said let every man give as he has purposed in his heart not grudgingly of necessity for god loves a cheerful giver the next verse says and god is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having all sufficiency in all things may abound unto every good work hallelujah in philippians chapter 4 when you begin to read from verse 13 down paul was beginning to talk to the macedonian church how that they gave of themselves first they gave of themselves they gave within their power and even beyond their power he said not that i desire a want but i desire fruit that will be credited onto your account 
and then in verse 19 of philippians 4 it says my god we claim that verse but we do not know the conditions that led to it he was speaking to people who were givers my god shall supply your needs not according to your needs according to his riches in christ jesus hallelujah there is a formula there is a path that leads to the blessing of the kingdom all kinds of giving under giving there are different kinds there is your worship offering the bible says not to appear before god in zion empty-handed that means he has made provision for you to always be able to come to zion with something in your hand it's just that it's our greed and our being stingy if i give what when will i get another one the one you have has not helped you too hallelujah are you getting what i'm saying number two on that giving i just want to talk a bit on finances i just sense in my spirit to talk about it your worship offering number two is your giving to parents look let me tell you if you miss this you will die broke forever i don't care how many gallons of anointing oil is poured on your head giving to parents the bible says honor your father and your mother that what will happen your days will be long that's the secret of longevity and it shall be well with you there are many young people facing roadblocks and predicaments in their lives because they dishonor their parents take what i'm saying very very seriously honor your father and your mother in proverbs chapter 3 from verse 9 and 10 says honor the lord it teaches us how to honor with your substance honor the lord with your substance and with the first fruit of all your increase verse 10 says so then shall your bands be filled with plenty and your vats your presses to overflowing hallelujah honor the lord honor the lord hallelujah number three is kingdom investments that you hear that there is a project in the house of god the psalmist said for the sake of your house i desire my, your prosperity i'm looking for money for the sake of your house that there is any project towards so winning towards building of the house of god david was sitting down and he thought to himself he said how can i be in such a palace like this and there is no house for my god he said although you are so mighty you do not need a place for habitation but i will build you a house and god said you have shed too much blood you can't build me a house because of his love for god he gathered the resources so that it will make it easy for his son please listen I know that there are men of God that play all kinds of prosperity gimmicks just to get money from people. But let me tell you the truth. Do not in a bit to discredit what is wrong. Kill the opportunity for the authentic revelation of the blessing because it will tell on you badly. Hallelujah. Is someone getting blessed? Hallelujah. Hallelujah kingdom investments i never hear about anything that is 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 an opportunity to give or so for the advancement of the kingdom and not be part of it impossible no matter how little no matter how little and then your heavens are open in strange ways the thing about the prosperity of the kingdom we've done that you can get our message on financial dominion a four-part series it's not all about money that's what worldly wealth cannot it can just give you nice clothes and this but it cannot protect you a teenager killed the president of a nation a teenager with all his security one gunshot and he was dead that's a terrible life that's not prosperity are you getting my point now but daniel entered the lion's den and he came out sick hallelujah and then you're giving what we know as priestly or is popularly called in the pentecostal circles prophet offering although huh, this one has been bastardized and abused because you see when it comes to prophet offering the man of god is the ultimate beneficiary so the way we flog it and cane people out have you given prophet offering can i tell you something no true man of god lives by the wealth of his congregation 
God never sends a man of God to be a burden to any congregation. Any true man of God is blessed by his personal obedience and compliance of the principles of the kingdom. Hallelujah. When the queen of Sheba brought her wealth and gave Solomon, the Bible says Solomon blessed her with everything she desired. You must learn to honor whatever grace that God uses to feed and bless you. I know it has been abused, but it is very true. Some of us were in different churches and we watch our pastors. We watch their families and we, it never crosses our heart to bless them. Because you say, this man said, how many rema does he have? This one that he's preaching, he's mentioning Genesis and quoting Revelation. So what? Hallelujah. These are kingdom principles. And then giving to the poor and the needy. The Bible says, he that gives to the poor lends to the Lord. Imagine borrowing a rich man money. Ah, I like that kind of business. When you borrow a rich man money, I gave an example when we were doing financial dominion. Imagine a multimillionaire saying, please, do you have 50 naira, give me. You will give quickly because he will not give you back 50 naira. He that gives to the poor lends to the Lord. Hallelujah. That was the secret of the wealth of Job. Job began to talk how that he responded to the need of the poor and the needy. He said, in the days of my youth, when the secret of the Lord was upon my tabernacle. Hallelujah. So many things happened to him. Greed. Greed is what has destroyed many people in the body of Christ. Greed. There is he that scattered, the Bible says, and yet increased there is he that withholded more than his meat and tends to poverty. In this time of recession, in this time of financial lack, you will have to give your way to a realm of unending wealth. It may take time, but let me tell you, the Bible says the righteous will flourish like a palm tree. Study the palm tree. It doesn't grow at once, but it's growing. But in one year, the palm tree will blossom. He said even in old age, they will be fat and flourishing. Hallelujah. Is someone learning something? So do you see the reason? It's not just about demons and Satan. Many of us like the fact that if I call this lady now, I say, do you know that there is somebody who is tying your mind? They say, yes, I've always known. Please, I've always known. As if you have been obeying the principles of the kingdom. You're not tithing, you're not giving. And in this era of the prophetic, many people have become gullible. Please don't criticize the prophetic. It is very important for the agenda of God. It's just that it must be balanced. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, I receive grace. The third point I spoke about number one, uh, not surrendering to the kingdom. Number two, ignorance. I just digressed a bit to talk about finances. Then number three, disobedience to kingdom principles. Different kingdom principles. Hallelujah. If I ask you a question, please just write it and look up. I have to run. If I ask you, what is your basis of believing you are going to live long in the kingdom? What are you going to tell me? The blood of Jesus or because Jesus died what is what is your confidence that you will celebrate Christmas in 2014 in this wickedness that we have Boko Haram doing everything what is your exemption what are you standing on that exempts you are you seeing why I'm there are principles brothers and sisters longevity different people want to live long I had to study for myself. I told myself, I said, oh boy, if you want to live long, you better find out what the Bible has put. And number one is honor to parents. He said, honor your father and your mother. Every time I want to travel, I'll call my mother and say, how are you? God bless you. And I know my journey is safe. For sure. Number two, he said, I shall not die, but live to declare. That means if you are not declaring her, 
I shall not die. There is an immunity that comes upon me because I'm an envoy advocating the agenda of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Number three, I said before you life and death, blessing and cursing, but I advise you choose life that you may live. I chose it. I chose it absolutely. Hallelujah. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So it is on the strength of this revelation. You can say in the name of Jesus. I know. I know. Hallelujah. What is your scriptural basis of believing that you will live in health? Just because you are bearing a Christian name? No. Brothers and sisters, no. Just because you went to school? There is a basis. There is a basis. Hallelujah. He said, I will let none of these diseases that came upon the Egyptians to come upon you. But there is a reason. He said, no inhabitant in Zion shall say, I am sick. He said, if that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in your mortal body, that same spirit will quicken, revitalize, make alive. Hallelujah. Obedience. We must pay attention. He said, my son, pay attention to my words. Incline your ears to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your heart. Keep them in the midst from your mouth. Keep them in the midst of your heart. He said they are life, not to Christians, to those who care to find them and health to their flesh. Hallelujah. Let's hurry up. So that's the third reason why things don't go well with people. The fourth reason, which is most important, is demonic oppression. The Bible tells us that the whole world lies in wickedness. And I've said it again and again. Don't let anybody play church games with you and deceive you with suit. We live in a wicked world. The condition to be a prospective victim of wickedness is that you are born of a woman. As simple as that. You don't need to offend anybody. The whole world lieth in wickedness. We live in a very wicked world. Someone can look at you and vow and say, over my dead body, it will not be well with you. Ah, ah, they looked at Jesus Christ. What did he do? They sat down and held a meeting to kill him. And Jesus said, if they have done it unto me, they will do it to you. Hallelujah. That means you must learn how to keep the devil where he belongs. That's why he gave us power. Hallelujah. Psalm 66 verse 3. It says, how awe-inspiring are your ways through the greatness of thy power. Not through making noise and wearing suit. Through the greatness of your power will your enemies submit themselves. Hallelujah. Many of us have been deceived. This is a nice world. Don't trouble Satan. Satan will not trouble you. And just say, I'm not looking for anybody's trouble. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The whole world lies in wickedness. After struggling for five years to get a job, you now get the job and somebody looks at you and says, I don't like you. You didn't do anything wrong. I just don't like you. And as long as I'm in this office, because for one position for promotion, there are 10 or 5 people qualified. Everybody is going to their own babalao and you are there strolling, believing because you, are, you have a Christian name. Brothers and sisters, please wake up. As we approach the coming of Christ, the fierceness of evil becomes stronger. And it is they that know their God. Daniel 11.32 They that know their God. They that, not they that have heard about him. They that know their God shall be strong. You see all these people gathered here? It will take God opening your eyes to see the satanic plots to stop people from coming for this meeting. But it takes an authority. Oh, this is the part about the kingdom I like. I love the fact that our, the kingdom we live in is not some kingdom full of fear and timidity. It's a kingdom of power and authority. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
I remember a woman came to me for counseling one time. When she was about, she got married newly, you know, and, and, and that was quite some decades ago. And she couldn't have a child. So she went to a stream somewhere, you know, and all kinds of things were done for her. And they told her, make sure you have a daughter. And before that daughter gets married, make sure you return her. And the woman said, you may have been dead by that time. He said, see my son. And he pointed one small boy who was just playing around. He said, by that time, this boy will now be the priest. Return her so that something will be done. Hallelujah. Now the lady graduated and the women advised the mother and said, Madam, we know you are a Christian, but this world we are living in, just quietly go. Who will know? Just go and settle this thing and come back. There are many people under all kinds of yokes who have been made to believe that once you are born again, everything is over. Brothers and sisters, it is true that in Christ, the old is supposed to have gone. But Satan will not just release you at a platter of gold. It will take enforcing what Christ has done for him to let you go. Hallelujah. And Pharaoh refused to let them go. After nine plagues, although God had given the command, Pharaoh refused to let them go. Hallelujah. And then in the book of Exodus, he said, one more plague will I bring upon Pharaoh and upon Egypt. After that, he will let you go. One more plague. Hallelujah. I'm glad to announce to you tonight, the devil must give up on you finally. There are many women suffering barrenness. Many people suffering all kinds of sicknesses. There are many of us, we are sitting here laughing, but nothing is working in our homes. It's not like you are not. The day you just announce in the family that there is a project, that's the day everything will scatter. Let God bless the family with small resources. Everybody gets sick until the money finishes. Then they will become fine by themselves. I was diagnosed. I've shared my story. Some of you were born in nice families. They took care of you. The devil never oppressed you. That's why you have not understood the implication. I was diagnosed of a fungal infection I had no account of. Just appeared. This head you are seeing was literally rotting. And they told me hair will never grow on my head again. I know what evil. The that's why I will live every day. One of my life's mission is to give hell a headache till I transit to celebrate with Jesus Christ. Hmm. That my waking up every morning must be a nightmare to the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. There was nothing. This sponge, this hard sponge you scrub the back of pot with, they used it to scrub my head. Blood was coming out. It was not out of wickedness. It was out of frustration. Oh, I know what wickedness looks like, brothers and sisters. Let me tell you. The students complained that I was irritating them in the dining hall. And so they stopped me. They banned me from going to the dining hall because I was irritating the students. When it's time for food, I will give somebody my plate and beg them to please help me and collect food. And I will stay alone. Ha! There is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus to break every chain break every chain Break every chain. There was a season in my family. People were dying like chickens. Look, let me tell you something. My grandfather, for some of you who are around the north, my grandfather, they were the trustees and the founders of Church of Christ in Nigeria. I come from a, a lineage of missionaries, but it did not solve the problem in my family. Are you getting my point? All the firstborns, I saw the, I saw the pattern. They became useless people. Either they got a lady pregnant out of wedlock or something happened that scattered their lives and reduced them into it. I, my father's elder brother died at a particular age range. My father's younger brother died at that same time. Just thank God that by the time 
my father was getting around that range, we had gotten the revelation. Look, let me tell you. Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche said, this world is not a playground, it's a battlefield. If you don't adjust your mind fast, you will be in for a rude shock. Are you getting what I'm saying? I remember some years ago, someone got married. Hallelujah. And we went for the wedding in Kaduna. I'll never forget this. Quite, quite some years ago. And when we went for the wedding, they had a step, they had a stepmother. True story. True story. There was a stepmother. And we noticed that people were dancing and dropping gifts. Please listen. People were dropping all kinds of gifts. And when they had finished, you know, they were about to pack the gifts. We noticed that the guy's stepmother just came. A small gift that looked like a, a small bucket. You know, this bucket you put flour or sugar inside. And just wrapped it and dropped it. And when I looked at it, another brother too saw it. I said, Kai, because we were going to pray for the wedding gifts. And I insisted that we open this thing and see what is inside. When we opened it, what did we see? A white bucket. They just put a stone inside and closed it. God is my witness. Welcome to planet earth where all kinds of people are permitted to live. Those who love God, those who hate God and those who hate you. And if you don't do anything about it, they will take you to the grave. Hallelujah. Mm. Many families, let me tell you, are suffering this. Mysterious sicknesses and diseases that they cannot explain. Just comes upon a man and a family. There are some of us here. You just went to the hospital for tests and they told you you have HIV. You have left, you, you lived a pure life. Hallelujah. Something has happened in the realm of the spirit. I remember somebody, I think it was here. He's on video. That he slept quietly. And in the night somebody appeared to him with a syringe and said this is HIV virus. Injected it into him and he woke up physically with HIV. I'm not scaring you. I'm letting you know that if you are not aware that this devil is not your friend. Are you getting what I'm saying? Somebody suffers in school. You now finish school. You go and serve. You graduated with first class or two and five years down the line. There's no decent job. No decent job. You want a job. The manager is saying you know what to do. And now you want to keep your Christian integrity. But you don't know how to command the forces of darkness to bow. You now announce in your family that God is calling me to be a pastor. From that day your whole life is tied into pieces. Everything you do does not work. Brothers and sisters. I don't celebrate Satan and evil, but I'm letting you know there is evil in this world right now. But there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. It's in the name of Jesus. There is power. In the name of Jesus is to break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah. I shared with us the testimony. Brothers and sisters, if not that I saw this woman, I would think it's a lie. I've heard about it, but I, I, was to, I was to experience it for myself. A woman who gave birth to a dead baby that came out half man, half monkey half man half monkey with hair if not that i was sitting face to face with this woman if i had another man of god say it i may join those saying this is a lie some exaggeration just to make the message look powerful i've seen all kinds of evil but in the name that is above all names there is an authority that must command the forces to bow. See, this is what happens to people. And you find out that one breakthrough will just open every area of your life. 
are you seeing many of us are struggling you are trying to fight your health you are trying to fight this whereas there is a root problem if that problem is not dealt with you may be healed but it will appear as something else i hope you know that every believer is likened to a tree how do you make a tree healthy do you clean the leaves you add fertilizer at the root how do you destroy a tree you deal with the root the bible says the righteous is like a palm tree is that true this is the mystery of total breakthrough you must see every man like a tree you waste your time trying to remove the leaves at once when you address the problem it's like somebody who is complaining of headache but the real issue is typhoid fever you can take panadol again and again you will receive temporary relief but tonight some things will be totally settled in the name of jesus christ you will find out one area of your life and then marriage opens up then job opens up then your academic opens up and that's when you say goodness so this is it a dear lady of ours even while i was in abuja last week i, I met with her this lady had worked for four years very hard working lady she was here i remember that time it's on video also one fair lady that came from abuja and i prayed for her this lady for four years she had been working no promotion no benefits no nothing every area of her life was grounded i prayed for this lady and she went back to abuja and her boss looked at her he said come you've been working in this place what has been done for you right now this lady follows the boss and travels with him everywhere when her friends heard about it they say it's because you are fine she says have i not been here four years with the same pretty face nothing changes by itself till you force it to change it will change one day is a dream if you force it it will change are you getting what i'm saying there are many of us you are standing outside students you are you are suffering things are not working people think you are dull but you are not dull you enter the exam hall you blank out and then you will do tutorials and be helping others when they are marking scripts your script gets missing the wickedness the bible says while men slept an enemy came and planted tears with the wheat and ran away there are all kinds of people lumps fibroids barrenness cyst all kinds of nonsense all around until you know the might of god you will keep getting afraid of satan but when you know who god is you will know once and for all that this devil he was created and that he can submit to the authority of his creator who am i speaking to tonight is your season for real change you can see you can sit down and watch others there are many of our sisters here as you're sitting down right now it's not like you are not pretty it's not like you are not virtuous you have done everything you have read every book you've knelt down for every man to greet them but no marriage something is wrong it even becomes a terrible situation when it's the man that doesn't have a wife to marry and this is it's easy to understand for the ladies because they position themselves to be found what of the man hallelujah but the lord prepared this apostolic and prophetic platform to end these assaults of darkness in our lives listen many of us are the only saviors of our parents right now and our families you know we believe in family in this place right your salvation is not complete until the members he said as for me and my house hallelujah every one of us standing here came from a family and let me tell you no matter how blessed you are if your family is not changed for many years my father was grounded at his place of work his juniors were being promoted everything was working for others except him this man was almost dying of high blood pressure and one day I got angry and we had to settle the issue tonight God will settle some family so please take what I'm saying seriously I'm speaking like this because shortly we are going to pray hallelujah there are some of you anytime somebody wants to bless you something will happen to that person and just scatter him somebody says i want to bless your family everything becomes grounded 
there are some of us who are in ministry you have done everything you know groundbreaking prophetic match round everything nothing is growing but jesus christ brought us here tonight so that we can experience his victory hallelujah and in a few minutes we have to pray before i begin to minister brothers and sisters i want you to pray and say father visit me i didn't just come to watch others and clap hallelujah the power of god is present to heal no matter what the sickness is no matter what the sickness is believe is it cancer is it hiv is it fibroid is it genotype issue no matter what it is you are stranded in whatever area of your life please position yourself because god is about to do mighty things right now no matter how far you are inside or outside talk to the lord don't be joking this is about your destiny this is your chance for a change of story say lord i'm tired i'm tired of clapping for others lord visit me i want to make progress in my life but there are forces that tie me down lord is the season where you will increase my greatness i'm tired of this terminal disease tired of this cancer they've told me i have days to live i'm tired of walking on a wheelchair i'm tired of this blindness tired of this deafness tired of this sickle cell anemia jesus you died and already paid the price you paid the price already oh yes jesus paid the price with his blood he paid the price already it was paid in full he paid the price for that cancer to live he paid the price for that hiv to dry up he paid the price for that barren womb to be fruitful he paid the price he paid the price go ahead and pray and say jesus you have paid the price jesus you have paid the price for the deliverance of my family we are tired of this hardship it's not your will for us to continue in this hardship and lord like jacob we hold on to you tonight we will not let you go till you change our story come on pray koinonia we will not let you go those outside are you praying lord change my story academically i'm tired of writing jam again and again and again and again and again change my story change my story you already paid the price you already paid the price oh hallelujah he has paid the price hallelujah he paid it with the blood of jesus the blood of jesus is the price the price the devil must let you go the blood has been shed already jesus said it is finished that cancer is finished hiv is finished the devil may not want to let you go but you will enforce the word the bible says how forcible are right words how forcible are right words how forcible rise up on your feet everybody and begin to blast in tongues and said my time has come my time has come oh god my time has come tonight you will visit me as your blessing man let your eyes see me oh god 
as you're changing stories, visit me. Visit me. Visit me. Visit me. Visit me, O God. That epilepsy must die tonight. That yoke of financial hardship. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I believe. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The power of God is in this place. I believe. Lord, I believe. Listen. 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 Let me tell you something. Hallelujah. The man who laid down at Bethesda, he'd been like that for 38 years. There is a way a situation has been so long in your life. Even when they are telling you God will change it, you say, Lord, change the rest. Tonight, do not leave any stone unturned. Are you getting my point? Whatever it is you're trusting God for, many of us left different states many of us left different local governments i'd like you to pray and say lord for this and that and that area of my life he must give way to yes lord it must give way tonight it must give way. The power of God is already moving across this place. Goodness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Powers that hold your hands and tie your destiny must let you go. Hallelujah. I see miracle everywhere. Miracle everywhere. I see miracles everywhere right now, right now. Miracles. We see miracles. Lord, we see miracles. Right now. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Listen, listen, listen to me. I tell you, there is a strong spirit of faith in this place. Listen, listen, please listen to me first. Many of you will be surprised what will happen to you right now. Hallelujah. God is going to the root of people's issues. It's not just sickness or this. Please believe me. The the Lord kept telling me this again and again. The root, the root of the issue. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm about to pray right now. I'm about to pray inside and outside. There will be such a release of the forcible power. You can't stand it. No. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of your son, there are forces of darkness that are responsible for the tears of many people and families. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, as we shout that name, let there be such a move, my God, my God, lift your hands. At the count of three, I'd like you to shout the name Jesus. As you shout that name, devils will leave right now. One, two, three. The power of God right now. I command.
against forces, forces of darkness, yokes, yokes of darkness, yokes, bring them out. The fire of God is falling. I challenge altars. Outside, the power of God is falling outside. Activities of witches and wizards. Right now, Satan, Lift your hands. The devil must let you go to Lift Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I see a number of people inside and outside. And I see chains all over you. Chains. As you shout this name. It's already happening to people right now. As I speak. As I shout that name Jesus. When you shout it. Many of you will hear sounds. Of physical chains dropping. Are you ready now? At the count of three. One. Two. Three. Jesus. the chains those outside lift your hands those those outside those outside lift your hands hallelujah I see the angels of the Lord moving outside lift your hands those outside you're going to shout Jesus there will be such a move of fire physical fire outside are you ready now those outside one, two, three. Ha ba ba shake it, shake it, shake it, go, 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 Hallelujah. Lift your hands. The spirit of delay. 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 The Lord is talking to me now. Hallelujah. The power of God will fall on certain people. Straight up. God is killing the spirit of delay. And I see this row. The angel of the Lord is standing upon this row. Right now in the name of Jesus. The spirit of delay. Across this row. Go, 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 Hallelujah. 
Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Gabriel. 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 Please, let's save time. The Lord is showing me witchcraft. This is serious witchcraft. Gabriel, outside. That guy is outside. You are wearing something like green. Greenish, like flowery something. Green. Where is that? You, do you know me? Come and stand here. Your, your, your time your time has come please stand up stand up let's save time I give the chains the chains falling she said let her go now you are a devil of darkness release her family now Release our family now. Release our family now. I the chains. Hallelujah. Look at me. My brother, I need to pray for you. There's nothing working in your life. Is that true? Look at me. Absolutely nothing. People just see you and see you dressing well. There is not financial. Nothing is working. Look at me. You are a sincere person. Are you getting my point? You have cried. You have cried. There's nothing you have not done. But tonight, God wants to change your story. Bring that lady. Because I see her going through the same thing this guy is going through. Bring her. Let her go now and forever. In Jesus' name. Go! brother in the name of jesus christ i prophesy to you look at me things will so change and turn around in your life you will be surprised you believe this father let it be done in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing military uniform who is a soldier who is a soldier around you i'm seeing this I live in the barracks. You live in a barrack because I'm seeing military uniform. Hallelujah. God is going to help you. Huh? You need the help of God. You have gotten to a point where you have done the best by yourself. It will take God to help you. Hallelujah. Victoria. 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 The Lord is showing me a name, Victoria. We may not call everybody Victoria. Victoria. Ah, well, I believe when God speaks to one, he speaks to all. Where's the person I was talking to? He has gone? I've not finished, my brother. Hallelujah. Come. We're going to break the course. This, this is, I'm saying this is, this is a yoke of darkness. Please hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we break this evil right now. <sighs> Madam, I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing a man. I'm not seeing a woman. I'm looking at you, I'm seeing a man. The power of God is going to come upon a lady now. There will be a loud shout. Let me have that lady here. It's going to happen right now. There is a strong force of the spirit. It will, it will be so strong upon the person. Please, when that happens, break every chain. Break every chain. Look at me. I'm going to pray for you. Please, I want you to believe. Hallelujah. Come, sister. Just those who came out, don't take them back. Just, just leave them. Hold my hands. Out of her. Go. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Devil of darkness. 
Father, I pray for all of the people. My brother, I didn't pray for you. That was why. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Change his story in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll just lay hands on you people. I don't know what the issue is. But as I lay hands, I'm seeing a man. Huh? I want to pray for you. Please. Because this thing has tied your life down. Lord, let her be free. In the name of Jesus. Let her be free. In the name of Jesus. Please, if I pray for you, just go back. Change their story, so God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever reason you brought them out, change their stories. As I lay my hands on you, I want you to know that everything is over. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A drama will be acted in this place shortly now. Look up. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to release marriages. This is it. It will start answering from this lady. It will start moving across right now. The power of God will start touching people. I'm about to pray. I've not prayed yet. It will start touching ladies, especially ladies. In a strange way, God is releasing marriages supernaturally. Supernaturally. This way, just like this. Just like this, down. That's how I see the power of God moving. Lift your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we part to every cause of the marital delay. Lift up people now. 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 Every cause, bring them out. Bring them out. Every spirit stopping marriages by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every spirit stopping marriages. Go protect them. I break the I break the I break the Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Bible says male and female, he created them. Not male and male. Not female and female. Lift your hands. In the name that is above all names. If there is any family here that their marital destiny has been tied down as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives right now may the fire of the Holy Ghost move and cause deliverance right now every spirit husband every spirit wife every devil every demon go go by the fire of the Holy Ghost Every house of witchcraft that has tied families, we release you right now. Hallelujah. Goodness. God is setting families free. Oh, the devil must give up on you tonight. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That girl on red, tying red scarf. There is an angel pouring oil on her right now. Right now. 
I cause that spirit. Go, go out of her right now. In the name of Jesus. That's right, that's the lady. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming upon her right now. Go, go, go. Release her right now. Release her right now. Release her right now. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to know you mustn't manifest and do all these things. God is just setting people free. Are you getting my point? I like us to just flow with what God is doing right now. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a lady. I'm seeing a lady. You had a dream and a dog pursued you and beat you. Please, who is that person? I, I like us to save time, please. I may not talk to everybody, but we still have a lot of things to do. Please, hurry up. Who is that person? Well, if, it's, if you are thinking about it, just remain on your seat, please. This is not guesswork. This is what the Holy Spirit, because we have to pray for the sick. You're going to be free right now. You're going to be free right now. I give the chains, the chains for you. Please hold my hand. It ends right now, oh Lord. It ends. Release her right now. Release her right now. God, power of darkness. Let her go. In Jesus' name. Please come, let me pray for you. I break that demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus. I break that demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus. That demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. We break that demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus. Look at me. Your family is not even you now. You are a worker in this house. And as a worker, you are entitled to certain blessings. Huh? Your family, there is a cause of hardship upon your family. Your entire family. Hold my hands. You must be free right now. Let her go. Representing her family. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. What is this that I see in the spirit? You must let her go. Because she's a faithful worker in this house. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release your family. I release your family. I release your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me the vision of a tree. And I'm seeing it tied with ropes. Tied with ropes. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. It's tied. And this is like the destiny of this family. And they've done everything to tie it. But I release it right now. I release it by the spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus and I prophesy on everybody whatever the devil has tied take the destiny of any family that has been tied be released now be released now be released now be released now, be released now. every destiny that has been tied by witchcraft Go pote ke te te ta Be released now Hallelujah 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 I tell you the breakthroughs that are happening Many of you will leave this place, you will be surprised. Just believe me. There is somebody outside. Two people, in fact. The fire of God will rush upon them right now. In a mighty and strange way. They will never be able to contain it. Outside. When that happens, let me have those people. If two people in a powerful way is happening right now by the spirit 
you can't stand it you will just be standing and it will come on you in a wild way like fire like wildfire it will come upon you please let me have the ladies like wildfire it will turn you you will be running it will happen to you you will be running around you will be running around there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus Break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain. Hallelujah. Who is Salome? There is a wild spirit in this lady's family. This lady you're seeing. Let her go now. This is Benway State. In the name of Jesus, release this family now. Release this family now. Hallelujah. Salome. The meaning of your name in your language is like treasure. Treasure or something precious. Who is that? like treasure or don't tell lies here oh please you are the one what is what's your name no no salome just wait here you are the one salome the the meaning of your name i'm going to pray for you salome where's your mother she's at home where we need to pray. God wants to give your family breakthrough. Out of her now. Out of her. Out. Out right now. Out. Out of her. Out. Bring them. She parata barregete bregete boksha Ni baso paria tabaria doste ke barakata I prato se palia tabako se ke dene bregedia Breteste barata bako se ke dene bai Si panda bako I set your family free right now By the fire of the Holy Ghost Now be free Now be free Now be free Out! Out! Be free in the name of the Lord Jesus. May you become that treasure truly. Let your days of crying come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please rise up. I want us to pray. I'm seeing a lecturer that is going to die next week. If we don't pray, he's going to die. Hallelujah. I'm not, I'm not a prophet of doom. God just interrupted this. Please stand up. In one minute, I'd like us to pray before we continue. And say we refuse death. I'm seeing a professor dying next week. Lord, we plead the blood. We plead the blood. We plead the blood. We we plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. 
We are going to pray for the sick right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those of you who came with people who are sick, it's time to minister to them right now. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. I know that there are a lot of people and we want to do it very, very fast. I'm sorry we don't take too much time to announce instant miracles. Now, you know, we are bounded by time. If we we're doing an afternoon program, we can take so many things. Hallelujah. So I want, it's not like we're not celebrating what God is doing. It, it would have been easy now to just ask these people to testify, to encourage us. But we don't have all of that time now. There are so many people. There are people after this meeting now may return to certain places. Hallelujah. Please and please. Please and please. We don't fake miracles in this place. We don't, we believe in the power of God. I know that many people have come trusting God for healing. And I know that some of us have come with our loved ones. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please, I want us to be orderly in this place. No fighting, no nothing. By the grace of God, we are going to minister to everybody one by one. Hallelujah. Praise God. So please and please, I want you to cooperate with us. Hallelujah. The worship team will lead us in a powerful worship song while we allow those who are sick you came with someone sick or you are sick now is your time to walk up to the front come and stand and trust jesus for a miracle and make sure you are writing your prayer request if you don't have any prayer request hallelujah please if it's someone that cannot stand maybe if there's a way protocol can help the people and then maybe we can have a chair or something whatever it is Jesus Christ. Those of you standing, lift your hands and begin to thank God for the miracles of people. Please pray. Please pray. His presence is here to him. Oh, hallelujah. We give you praise. Those of you coming out, please begin to pray and say, Lord, my time has come. I know you have all kinds of medical reports. Forget about them right now. HIV cases, cancer oh, cases, whatever I it is, genotype, Lord, don't worry. Jesus is Lord in this place. Lord, we thank you. His Please, let's save time. If you've not written your prayer request, start writing it. He, his presence is Let your faith rise. Lord, my time has come. I'm not going back the same. From headache to infection, no matter how little. Oh, hallelujah. Jehovah Rapha. There is a God that heals in the house. So one more time. One more time. Jesus heals. Jesus heals. You will be delivered. I don't care what the situation is. To heal, to heal. Son of man, can these bones live again? Hallelujah. I want you to know whatever the situation is, there is a God 
We are not against doctors. We have doctors here as workers. But let me tell you, it gets to a point in your life where you have done your best. When you have done your best, leave it all to Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to believe in the power of the Holy Spirit as I minister to you right now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The anointing of the Spirit is strong and I see the angels of the Lord here. Many of you, what you call sickness is not sickness, it's witchcraft. Huh? You will be delivered from it and that will be the end of it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It's, when he's ready, he can come and join me. Jake is deeply in the spirit, so just let him. When he's ready, Jesus, I give you all the praise. Those of us who are there, please don't be carried away. Make sure you participate and let's trust the miracle working power. Especially those of you who God is calling you into a healing ministry. Now is the time to look. Now is the time to concentrate so that you will receive something. We give you all the praise. Make sure you go back and begin to check yourself. God is healing people. Come and see in the presence of Lord. Be healed. Hold on, please. Hold on. Hallelujah. Daddy, don't cry. What's wrong with you, sir? I, I'm suffering from arthritis since 30 years. 30 years. Brothers and sisters, 30 years arthritis. Uh, and it is a sign of stroke. It gives me a sign of stroke. Is your father? Is your father? Come. What did they tell him in the hospital? Sir, he's having arthritis. He's having deep. It's not just arthritis. I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. This is witchcraft. Do you have pile? Yeah. I'm if I want to, if I want to, uh, easy yourself. Easy myself. The team will be strong. That's what I'm saying. It's pile. This is pile. It's not just arthritis alone. This is pile. This is this is an evil thing. Is that pile? Yes, sir. It's having pile. You are having pile. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You too. You are having pile now. See, this is a cause to destroy everybody in your family. It's not just your father. This thing has been there since. Since. Are you getting my point? You are not the only one. You have suffered with this pile. Even you, it has embarrassed you. It's just something you cannot tell people. Because I'm seeing that if they don't help, you will start bending. It will start like your leg will start paining you. The same thing that is happening to your father will happen to you. You've done for me. What no man can do Jehovah Mela Jehovah Jehovah You done for me What no one else can do There is a name that is greater than any ancestry. You will be the first to be healed. Come, hold my hand. Pile, go now. You are a devil of darkness. I curse you out from her life in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Daddy. I bring you the life of Jesus Christ. The power of God is coming upon you. Stroke. I curse that spirit. I curse that spirit. 
strength to you. I curse that spirit. Look at this. In the name of the Lord Jesus, come. Stand up. Come by yourself. Come. Come. Just come. 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 Walk. Come. at this 30 years stroke 30 years stroke 30 years stroke come on now look at look at look at look at what is happening to me 30 years stroke come on give jesus praise 30 years stroke look at look at look at this man come on son hey, hey. look at look at this Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at, look at, look at this, look at this, hallelujah, ah, come on now, hold on, hold on, how many of you saw this man when he was coming, are you seeing this now, look at our daddy, daddy are you surprised? Surprise. What is happening to you, right? There is no penny. Completely. Hey. Look at, look at this. Come on, give Jesus praise, 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 praise. The spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows. The spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows. Dance to the shame of the devil. The spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows. Dance to the shame of the devil. The devil knows that I am a winner. Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, there are people who believe that these things are stage managed. Hallelujah. How can you stage manage a miracle with an elderly man like this? Eh? From Niger State. This is his first time coming all the way from Niger State. 30 years arthritis. Hallelujah. I prophesy to your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be returned In the name that is above all names, I prophesy. Just leave him. Leave him. He's just sitting down. He's, he's so excited he doesn't know what to do with himself. I cannot stand up by myself like that. Before. Alright, sit down and try it again. Sit down and try it again. You know, you couldn't stand up. Help him. Help him sit down. Try to stand up now. Look at this. Help him. Oh, hallelujah. It never returns again in the name of Jesus. Whoever is responsible for any evil, he will reap what he has sown. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Let's hurry up. Praise when God. Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Hey! When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Hallelujah. Please, if you are with a little child, can you guide them so that we know what is wrong with them? Let's save time. There are a number of people. Hallelujah. The devil is a liar and a wicked person. 
Madam, look at me. This woman is going through a very serious situation. But let me tell you, it will change. I don't care what has been removed. One has been removed. They removed. Don't cry. It's okay. It's okay. What exactly did the doctor say? They didn't say anything. That I can no longer conceive. That you can no longer conceive. Why? Because one has been removed and the other one is not healthy. One has been removed. The other one is not healthy. Ah, son of man, can this bones be Hallelujah. I wish this woman was here who had been burying that carried her child. I don't know if she's here. This fair lady, she's not here. I wish she were here. She would have brought the child. And let's see that medical reports can be cancelled. She's not here. Habiba's sister, Sadia's sister, she's not here. That is she around? Come, come, come with the child. Where is she? Come with the child to the shame of the devil. That's a woman they say will never take in. Come with your child. That's a miracle baby there. Come. Please come, madam. Sorry, don't be embarrassed. Clear the way for her. I want to encourage you. Come. This kind God, oh, I never see in kind, no. This kind God, oh, bless the be Hallelujah. Name. Hold on. This, this is a woman that nothing would have been able to happen. Nothing completely. But look at the fine boy. See, look, let me tell you. There is nothing that ends argument like results. You can fake headache. Can you fake a child? Hallelujah. Madam, let me tell you the truth. You will not only carry a child, you will carry plenty of people. Please believe. I, I, I brought her out to show you. When they gave birth to this baby, this baby was looking like an angel. They were snapping the baby, right? Hallelujah. Father, every woman in this place, every family, trusting God for a miracle child, in the name that is above all names you did it for this family do it again do it again oh god do it again oh god hallelujah madam you'll be free right now look at me i don't care whether one womb has been removed or whether another one is not working is irrelevant all i know is you will have children and they will grow in wombs where it will come that is not my responsibility are you getting my point now the child is in something will leave you now this is this is demonic let this woman go now i command that you get pregnant give birth to miracle children we create new wounds right now in the name of Jesus Christ it is done you will return with your miracle children I will attend to everybody now will be very very fast so that we can save time worship him please My God is awesome. He can move my Hold on. Let her talk. Yaro na ne aje Israel. Ne aje Israel zin. She she na aki the Nigeria Christian Progress Commission Abuja. So say so take ki ya leading ya in south south. Say ya e do guda kudu sin Jesu dukeshi. So ko chire she the go fourth floor. So yet the shakasa. So kakarba kudi a wajenshi. Tun December 14. Yena pama a Israel. Shine asa na che. Ama ina eke enzu. Hari enzu. Ama enzu. Loka chinde ya fadi. Anche baza yibongena ba. Baza yurubutu ba. Baza yitefia ba. 
Ogasi ya chetu achiga bade truti ndishi Yai adua Allah ya gea mchi Zai itefia Zai imagana Zai irubutu Suna yeso Yenzungye na irubutu Yena magana Ama kofa dile Bifara tefia ba Father In the name of your son Jesus Christ All the way from Nigeria By the power of the Holy Ghost Kabala toza tabaranda kalibata Zide lembrash ko prande kalabati la kapras te presti sa tabala Mande ke pres ke latos ko baridalaba In the name of Jesus What's his name? Bege poche chet Bege Bege we call you now Those I don't care whether they are broken Whatever is wrong with it Receive life now. Receive life now. We command you to stand up from that dead bed. Stand up from that dead bed now. Your hands will write. Your eyes will see. Your feet will walk. Every broken bone. We mend it now. Thank you, Jesus. Mama. You will return with a testimony in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray for you. Now get you on Baya. Hold on. Bayan kina miki zafi sometimes go. Your back. Kuma na get the kafa harian as well. Add the kafa. They call it senyin kashe abi. Inausa. That's what? Rheumatism. I'm going to pray for you. We'll pray. We'll soon get interpreters. Hausa, Baju, anyone. Free English, I hear Baju. Everyone. What's that, your song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. That's what? That's Baggy. Ah, hold on. Come on, Sam. But can you when you walk in Kadunaba? Hold on now. Young Kadunaba, can you walk in Garinkuba? You don't know what they are saying, just be just with them. In some bumbo, Bazi Bawa. In some bumbo, Bazi Bawa. Oh, yeah. In some bumbo, Bazi Bawa. Hallelujah. Mommy, be healed of rheumatism now. In the name of Jesus, I cause that pain right now in your legs. Be healed. Stand up. Come. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, strength to your leg. I cause it. Pain go. Walk, man. Walk. 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 Walk, look at this. Walk, look at this. Any any improvement on your leg? Look at, look at. Rheumatism. Couldn't walk well on one leg. In the name of Jesus Christ, it becomes permanent. Completely permanent. In Jesus' name. And your son is healed and he will return. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. We have to hurry up. Sam, sing something else, please. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. Heals me when I'm broke. Strength where I Oh, oh, oh. 
Collecting the prayer request very quickly. Start collecting the prayer request very quickly.
As I pray for you, go back, check yourself. Heal now. In the name of Jesus Christ.
praise the Lord. The Lord is healing and perfecting this man. Hallelujah. He came here with all kinds of pain. But in the name of Jesus, the pain is gone. Daddy, I want you to take a step of faith to walk. Leave him. Just support him, but leave him. Make sure, you, don't worry, you won't fall, Daddy. They are standing at your back. Try to turn and walk. Look at this. I could not use this knee before because of arthritis for six weeks. Very painful. But look at I've been able to move it. The pain my is gone. <laughs> the pain is gone. The pain is gone. Don't worry, Daddy. Don't look at the pain. Just look at me. Just look at me. Walk. Follow me. Forget about the leg. Just look at me. Just look at me. Don't take your eyes away from me. I curse evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Try to lift the leg. Try to lift it now. Don't worry. You won't fall. Lift it. Lift it. Look at. Lift it. Lift it, Daddy. Lift it. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Try walking, sir. Father, you have begun this. It, it is perfected. Me, I curse the spirit that sponsors evil. Because this is witchcraft. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And by the mercy of the Son of the living God. I command this spell from the crown of your head, Daddy. To the sole of your feet be healed. I command the knee, the ankles. In the name of Jesus Christ, be made whole. In Jesus' name. Kubash, you will not fall. They are supporting you. Please don't be afraid. Just follow me. Come. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just look at me. Look at me. Look at me, sir. Look at me. Now come. Come. Just come. Just come. 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 Come, look at this. Come on now. Koinonia, celebrate Jesus. He's walking by himself. Don't worry, you will not fall. They are supporting you. Just come. Just come. Leave them that way. Walk by yourself. Come. Come. Thank you, Jesus. Come. Come on, Koinonia. He's walking by himself. Exercising the leg.
chain is breaking, breaking. breaking. whatever it is, wherever it is, it's breaking, yeah. it's breaking, it's breaking, it's breaking, and it's falling, it's falling, it's bowing, bowing. Hallelujah. I know we're out of time. Please turn the prayer request. If you've not written your prayer request, those online, they should connect with us. We want to pray right now. Hallelujah. God is setting people free. Please don't miss the prophecy after this because it's very, very important. Hallelujah. God is going to be... If you've not submitted your prayer request, please do that. Just wave your hands and the ushers will come to you quickly. Please, one minute, one minute. One minute. Let's do this quickly. All those connecting with us, um, through the internet, they can just connect by faith. Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes will lead us to this session. Praise the Lord. If you can rise, please rise. This is a very prophetic moment. Look at me. Hold on. We're not just doing this foolishly. This is an instruction God gave us. Hallelujah. We've had unspeakable testimonies. I believe almost everybody, this is summary of your prayer request. We may not have time to deal with it. This, please, don't make it ritualistic. Hallelujah. The Bible says Hezekiah took the threat letter and took it to the temple and he dropped it before God. Stretch your hands and begin to pray. As Pastor Jakes leads us through this. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want, I want you to pray. We are going to be laying our hands on this request right now. And I'm telling you, God is going to be releasing miracles. You're standing, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, this is it. Everything I've written here lives my life. Everything that needs to come into my life, please pray. Participate in the meeting. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead, pray in tongues. Shele braka to na mane mang dosi prega la 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 boko so para bala braka la 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 ba dosi mbara la 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 da boko so para ya da 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 ba kasha da da braka la 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 da boko so bega da bega da rata bala bega la bala 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 Rata da ba ya ra ba la 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 in no se in kapari onde in do opari ala kabau se ina baha re ita ba on se ita ba na kada li ino se ima kon se ine panda ma pre kon se prenda kon de hi ri pari on se ila ha ri no se ima na io se ila ka ila ha mi atas ka ina tanda kon de hi mi e kon se ina kasa ba ha ra kan de o Speedily, Lord, your grace. 
I see the angels of God come like flash of light, real fast, bringing answers to prayers. For some of us, we will receive calls even tonight. Answers, answers, answers to prayers. Ah, just like Ezekiah opened us his prayers before the Lord. And right before the prophet left the temple, answers came. The answers come tonight in the name of Jesus. The answers come tonight in the name of Jesus. The Lord brings healing. Aha. Thank you, blessed Lord. There is a very serious deliverance that is about to happen. And please, I want you to bring the people in front. I'm seeing yokes. I'm telling you, I'm seeing real bondages. God has anointed this place to be a place of liberty. Right now, I declare by the Spirit of the Christ. And I decree and declare. That in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, I want you to shout that name that is above every other name. And except God is not God. Any planting that is not of the Christ over your life and your destiny i speak by the grace of god almighty that he must let you go now one two three shout jesus bring them out bring them out in the name of jesus i command devils I command spirits, yokes that have tied down the destinies of men be gone now by the spirit of the Christ. The Bible says now the Lord is that spirit. Go now. Release every destiny. 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 Release every release every destiny i decree and declare the bible says even the captives the lawful captives shall be delivered therefore i declare that every legal access upon which the devil is holding on to anyone's destiny right now by the fire of the holy ghost be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now. He baratos kalabarata kata. Enketa lakatos kabratasia. I command closed doors be open. Closed doors be open. Right now be open. Closed by the hand of darkness. I declare be open. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh hey hey Yahweh oh yeah yeah hey oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh 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 oh yeah is showing me chains over people's heads i decree and declare anyone here under any kind of yoke at the count of three inside outside online i want you to shout that name again it's not a ritual done out of unbelief there is force and power in the name one two three every orchestration go now be loose now. Be loose now. In the name of Jesus, be loose. By the authority of Jesus. By the authority of Jesus. By the authority of Jesus. 
the Lord is showing me people who have been at the same level for many years. There is nothing you do in time that moves you forward. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing fire just rising from my limbs. I'm about to pray that prayer. Anyone who has been kept at the same position right now by the anointing of the Spirit, I declare that limitation broken now. Broken now. Help them. Broken now. Broken now. Broken now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Right away, I want to pray against barrenness. I'm sensing the grace. Don't wait till you are married. If there is anyone here by the Spirit of God, by whatever means, your womb has been closed by the authority of heaven. I declare right now, I'm seeing the anointing coming on a number of people. Married or unmarried, let that womb be open now. Be open now. Be open now. I tell you, the anointing of God is coming on people. Whether you are married or not, some of you are standing in for your loved ones. I declare again, womb, be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. I command every devil. Ah, I'm seeing such. I'm still seeing people's feet tied like a chain around the feet of people. Right now, I decree and declare every chain, Makatoska Barakata, holding anyone now. In the name of Jesus, I break those chains now. 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 Hallelujah. If you have any abdominal pain, lay your hands right now. Lay your hands just on your stomach. Any kind of abdominal pain. Doesn't matter whether it's a fibroid, doesn't matter whatever. Just lay your hands here right now. In the name that is above all names, I decree and declare. Right now, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is coming upon your stomach area. And in the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle right now. Let there be a miracle right now. I'm seeing a number in the realm of the Spirit 21. And the Lord is saying an anointing is coming on those people. And that grace is for direction. You are at a point in your life where you are confused. You honestly don't know what to do. But right now I stretch my hands. 21. I see it in the realm of the spirit. Right now let the anointing of the spirit bring in direction. Ending confusion. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. Direction. Direction. Direction in ministry, direction in business, direction, geographic direction. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for speed. I'm going to continue praying for speed until I see it manifest. Now please hear me. Because of what happens when I pray for speed, the ushers are limited. Make sure that you protect anyone because people will start running up and down. That grace for speed must find expression. I will continue to pray it until you leave your current level. I stretch my hands by the privilege of God's grace and I declare, I don't know what has caused delay, but the mantle that commands speed right now at the count of three, Koinonia, hear me. One, two, three. Receive speed. 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 In your destiny. Speed. Do in 
one month what one year could not do do in one month what five years could not do do in one month in the name of Jesus trying to conserve time there is a lot to do who is Janet I'm hearing a name Janet 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 all those who are in front under the anointing here I command the devils that have oppressed you this is the house of God right now at the count of three release them release everything you have tied down one two three go go now every strange spirit Go now. Go now. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Janet. I'm hearing a name, Janet. Hold on. Please don't, don't be rowdy. Just relax. Stand up, my dear. That lady on green, stand up. Where are you coming from? Huh? You are from Kaduna State. Relax, calm down. I want to pray for you. Listen, God is not just calling names at random. I want to pray for you. You can expect that there will be so many genets. The power of God is coming on one of you right now. One of you, as I'm, I'm seeing an anointing coming on one of you right now. It's, it's not something you can stand. The power of God we are going to have to do a quick work because we want to take out time and minister to the sick. In the name that is above all names, I decree and declare. There's one of you, the anointing of the Spirit. Let's just walk that instruction first. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare on all of you. I may not have time to prophesy one by one, but every barrier that stands between you and the next level, I declare, let it go now. I curse it by the Spirit of God in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the power of God is coming on a lady just where this my brothers are standing bring that person just this row I'm seeing a cloud just right here right now as I'm speaking the anointing of the Spirit is coming on one person there please bring the person it's a lady bring her Janet, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hi. This is an instruction God is giving me. There is a family. I'm seeing the family. It's a whole pattern. Nobody marries. No matter what happens, I'm about to pray. The power of God is coming on that one person for the sake of the family. Please, I want you to believe and receive. I declare that marital delay. This is the instruction God is giving me. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. The Lord is opening my eyes. And in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing the map of Benway State. An anointing is coming right now on Benway. God is bringing a miracle. I release my, I stretch my hands and I declare a miracle right now. It's a sign and a wonder how God does it. Benway State, Benway State, Benway State. I curse the workings of darkness over that territory. In the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. The Lord is taking me to a neighboring state. I'm literally seeing myself in Kogi state. And the Lord is saying he's breaking witchcraft. I don't know who are those who are from there. But I stretch my hands. Kogi state. May that anointing come upon anyone associated with that territory that is under the yoke of bondage 
Be free now. Be free now. For this state. Be free now. Be free now. God does these things that men will fear him. My sister, look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Something is leaving you. This is what I'm seeing. For you and for your family members. Let that devil never return to you again. In the name of Jesus Christ. We look to Yahweh. Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh. Yahweh. I'm hearing a name, Agnes. Prophecy takes a lot of time. So we'll just minimize it so that I'm hearing the name Agnes. 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 I'm hearing that name. Please, very quickly, because I want to take our time and... God is visiting three families at Overflow 2. Overflow 2, the overflow by the roadside. I just saw an anointing, just like fire. Three families, three families by the Spirit of the Living God. Agnes, who is Agnes? You are Agnes. You are Agnes, your sister. No, you are not here for your sister. You are here for yourself. Come. Hi. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, this spirit must let you go. There is a very violent spirit that, that is attempting to take advantage of this lady's life. I declare now by the spirit of God, the covenant and the ordinance that authorizes you in the life of this lady comes under judgment now. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that violent devil must let you go now even by the spirit of the there is no hiding place in the name of Jesus there is no hiding place for the unfruitful works of darkness I curse you by the God of heaven and I declare you must let her go alongside everything you have planted in her life in the name of Jesus Christ just hold that there I'm going to hold your hand. It's a strange mystery. I'm going to hold your hand, but the person who will fall is on this road. Bring the person for me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, just don't worry, leave the baby. The person who will fall is not this lady. It's on this road, like this, this road right to the back. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare by the Spirit of the living God, that everything that does not name the name of Christ right now I command it must go in the name of Jesus Christ it must go by the grace of God I set you free my dear in the name of Jesus let me pray for you father there is please don't be embarrassed we may not prophesy to everyone but there is a woman here, don't be embarrassed. You just had a miscarriage. Usually I would not ask you to come, but the Lord is asking to come out. Who is that person, please? Anima 
There is a Yoruba family that is under a very strange attack. Under a strange attack. I'm praying right now. I don't know where they are, but I'm going to pray for you by the Spirit. Please don't confuse the cases so that I can minister to them. In the name of Jesus, I pray for that family. It's a Yoruba family from Kwara State. Yoruba family from Kwara State. I'm seeing it by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. That family is here or anyone who represents that family. I declare freedom right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you, my dear. That everything that is not the planting of the Lord. The hand of God is upon you. And the Lord is saying in the seasons that come, you are going to start having visitations. There is a visitation that God is bringing. And that visitation is preparing you for where he is taking you to. And the Lord is saying that you'll be faithful. In the name of Jesus, I declare it so, even by the power of the Holy Spirit, that you step into that level and that dimension. You are the woman with the miscarriage. You are married. Please don't feel, I hope you are not embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed, huh? Because that's the same way you will come here and testify. Listen, God is not going to embarrass you for nothing. Are we together? Listen, let me tell you this. This is one big family and we're intelligent people. We will never come and just embarrass someone like that. If there's anything that looks embarrassing, just know that these things um, are spiritual. My dear, that young lady, go in. Come, lift your hands. God is not done with you yet. Huh? This is, this is, you would have left this girl now. She would have probably just gone like that. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, take what you put in her dream life. Let it live now. Take what you put inside her through the dream. Miscarriage. Please come. Please don't feel embarrassed. This is a family. Did I pray for you? Did I pray for you? It's all right. If I prayed for you, just go back. My dear, put your hand on your stomach. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Go and return with your child according to the time of life. No more miscarriage whatsoever. In the name of Jesus, you will return with child according to the time of life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, please place your hand. In the name of Jesus, return with child. Return with child. In the name of Jesus. There is someone here, you are in ministry. I've not done the impartation yet, but I'm seeing an anointing come on you. And this is for your ministry. There is a level of expansion that you have been praying for. And God is about to answer that prayer. I stretch my hands. I don't know where that person is. But in the name that is above all names, may that anointing, like a mighty rushing wind, in the name of Jesus. There's someone here, God, this night, is giving you a ministry to teenagers. An anointing is coming on you, your ministry will be to teenagers. I don't know where that person is, but Lord, I stretch my hands. Right now, may that man to find the person. In the name of Jesus, I birth that ministry by the Spirit. I birth that ministry by the hand of God. Inside here, outside, I declare, in the name of Jesus, let there be a birthing. I draw from the bowels of prophecy, and I declare that ministry is better tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Your sister and you, why is she here? Miscarriage? Are you married? You're sure? In the name of Jesus, place your hand there. I agree with you. Every plague of miscarriage goes now. In the name of Jesus Christ, according to the time of life, return with your child. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your sister, where is she? Abuja. Tell her that she was prayed for. 
and she should expect a miracle. In the name of Jesus, I declare, you're standing in for her, but I declare the power of God is upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are four people who are receiving the mantle for prayer and intercession. Now, I know that it's, it's, a, it's a grace we will all desire, but there are four exact people. Four exact people. Some inside, some outside. Lord, I don't know where they are, but that grace, a dimension of the intercessory ministry, capacity to travail by the Spirit, In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why is she here? Come. Where are you from? Kaduna. How long have you been married? Last year. Last year. Madam, you came out here for miscarriage, but what God is dealing with is more than miscarriage, huh? We'll pray for you. Where's your husband? Here, sir. Because I'm seeing him here. Yes, sir. Is he here? Yes, sir. Where is he? Husband, please come. Thank you. Is the man here? How are you, my friend? Stand up. God is about to change your life. I don't know you. What do you do, sir? Where? I'm up in Kaduna. Kaduna, I want to pray for you. Where are you from? I'm from Ojibwe. There is a grace. Please hear me. What, what, where do you work? I work with the Alliance of Africa. There are two things I'm seeing. One, I'm seeing real estate. Number two, I'm seeing distribution. Distribution of things. Go and write them down and pray over them. This is where your money is. This is where the grace of God. If you hear what I'm telling you. You see, sometimes God will not violate your will. You can choose to do anything you do. But because of the openness of your heart, he will give you direction. The Lord is my shepherd, he says, I shall not want. So when God directs you, he will take away want and lack from you. And that's why I said this is more than just the issue of barrenness or whatever it is. Huh? We'll pray for you. And madam, I want to stop the dreams. Dreams. Huh? I have to pray for you. Sometimes you don't share them. But there are dreams that are oppressions. A lot of oppressions. I want to pray for you. This will end in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, this is July, August, September. By October, write it down. Your life will change. Do you know what just entered you? You didn't just fall under the anointing. You see, my, my brother, the realm of the spirit, what is on you is what controls what is around you. Don't worry, I'm going to pray for you. It's the grace for favor that came on you. Amen. And I declare and I prophesy over you by the Spirit of God. These three months, may your life change in a way that will surprise Amen. you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, put your hand in your, on your stomach. According to the time of life, huh? in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm seeing something like a rope being loosed from your stomach. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus. Listen, you will come with your wife and stand here. Look at their faces and remember them. So that the day they come and stand, it's, it's not to glorify a man. It is to show that God, oh, God is still alive. Huh? I lose this in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. You will return with a strange miracle. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Sir, can I talk to you please? This man. Yes, sir. Where are you coming from, sir? Kaduna. Kaduna. 
I don't know you. Is it all right if I pray for you? I want to pray for you. Three things. Number one, I want to pray that sickness will not take you to the grave. Amen. I'm not a prophet of doom. This is our, our prophet. I want to pray for you. That's number one. Number two, I want to pray for you that everything that is yours that has not been released, let it come to you. Does it make sense what I'm telling yes, you? Sir. I will pray for you. This is one of the reasons why you are here. I want to pray. It will surprise you the way God will release all kinds of financial blessings to come to you. And then number three, there is a man from Lagos that God is going to connect you with. God is going to use that man to turn your life around. I don't know what you do, but please, I want you to mark this. But the most important prophecy is sickness. I want to pray for you because I'm seeing that this thing is an attack. It will start one morning. You just stand up and they will say you are behaving as if you are talking to yourself and you are having memory loss. It's of the devil we must pray. Madam, come. God is about to change your life. Because you are praying and you are saying God should tell me to speak to you. Is that true? Yes, sir. Stand here. I'm, I'm standing here and I'm hearing your prayer. Yes, sir. And you are saying the Lord should, that should visit yes, you that you did not come from far for yes, nothing. Sir. Where did you come from? Where are the other two people? We look to Yahweh. congratulate you in the name of Jesus because your life will change in a very remarkable way madam I want to pray for you look at me stand up my friend why by the life here who is sick madam I want to pray for you yes, you see, ba, when prophecy is used well, I'm seeing this woman, your right breast. Huh? If I don't pray for you, yeah. you're going to start having what looks like a growth. <laughs> and it will later become cancer. Because uh, I'm looking at this woman. Jesus. No, don't worry, madam. I'm, don't be afraid. I'm looking at this woman on the bed and just whine. And they say, what is this? What happened to this woman? Jesus. Madam. You did not leave Adamawa State to come here to waste your time. Yes, no. Sir. I vowed a vow and prayed a prayer that never should there be a time when I will have the opportunity to minister and the people say, oh, it was just like before. Never, 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 never. That everyone encounter will leave a deposit of God in your life. Hallelujah. Sir, I want to pray for you. He's, where is he coming from? Adamawa too. I need to pray. There is bad luck in your life. Come, you are a very nice man, but please stand up. Please stand up. I don't cry. Oh, yeah. oh dear. You see, but let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, sometimes people are carrying pain. Oh, you just see people laugh and praise the Lord. That that is a dance of faith. It's just a, a joy of faith because I'm looking at this man. You will not believe what this man has gone through. Is that true? What do you do, sir? I'm a launderer. Washing with his hand. Yes. This is what I'm saying. This man, Kai, oh dear. This man is supposed to be connected to a politician in Adamawa State. This is this man's destiny based on what the Lord is showing me. His name is Zechariah. Yes, he's presenting. This is what I'm telling you. Just listen. Let me prophesy to you. I'm seeing that this man's destiny is supposed to be with a member. And yet he's doing... Now, I'm not saying laundry is an insult. But the way he's doing it, this is not a blessing. Um, I don't know what happened. We had a good relationship. And just of a sudden... He changed. He changed. No, he did not change. 
somebody told him huh, that they can use you to kill him and that he has it's not only you i'm not a pro don't go around fighting anybody huh that this man one day will kill him they were saying honorable kayankali be careful don't allow people to just come around you like that who already know you because the enemy within is outside that's why he lost relationship with you and cut everything away you see let me tell you my brothers and my sisters god reveals this thing to tell you this world we live in is not a playground if you don't sustain spiritual intelligence look at how may your enemies not get to the gates before you that the counsel of Ahitophel can turn a man's destiny and this man is not that he's using a laundry to washing clothes like it like an animal sir you have come here for God to change your life and I'm praying for you by the God of heaven the one who put this miracle service together let things change now by the power of the Holy Ghost I declare favor upon your life let things turn around in the name of Jesus Christ mama what do you want God to do for you English house I speak anyone <laughs> divide visitation in every area of my family I will pray for I you I want male children <laughs> oh healing you have female children I have two and you I want a male allergies. yes I need male children <laughs> That's what, uh, there's a reason why I shifted the mic. I don't want you to say what you're about to say loud, huh? Because one day your husband will be changed and he will hear this, this miracle service message. It's true. I want to pray for you. You see, please let me advise us. It's God that gives children. And, and I don't mean to insult anyone, but please, let's be careful. This issue of give me male children, give me female children, Otherwise, you are not this. I mean, it's even better to come to a man of God to pray for you than to antagonize your wife or husband. There is a culture of the kingdom. Listen, when we get born again, the values, the value system of the kingdom, the spirit life must be at work in us. In as much as I know sincerely that it is beneficial to have children, male and female, when our people are getting married, I pray for them that God will give them children, male and female. But you cannot antagonize your wife or your husband and say, give me um, male children, female children. Of course, I understand. I'm, I'm an African. Because of issues of inheritance and other things, but we have to be careful. Whatever God has not given you, you cannot have it. And if you go to the devil to have it, let me tell you, the consequence will be waiting for you. Are we together? Madam. Look at me. Do you believe if I pray for you, yes, you will come here with a male child? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do. God, I do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Madam, what did you see me doing for you in a dream? Sir, you declare he lives upon my life and you say it is done. Listen, number one, number one, yes, God is bringing favor to your yes, life. Sir. Number two, you will stand on this very altar with a male child. I want you to believe it. You believe that? Hold my hands. Father, please turn the life of this woman in the name of Jesus. Let it please you to open her womb and give her a male child. And we agree, we receive that your husband is born again and he's walking in the ways of God. In the name of Jesus. Madam, the Lord is going to connect you with some, a woman from Maiduguri. Where are you from? I'm from Adama. We have together. She's my okay. Sister. I'm going to pray for you. A, a woman, she does textile and clothing. Kaya cloth. This woman will bless you in a way that it will look like it's a charm. Yeah. Believe what I'm telling you. Father, I decree and declare, surprise these people by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I bless you. God changes your life in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Mama, that mama with blue, come. Yes. 
Who came from Kano? From where? From Air Force Base. Air Force Base. This is your husband. What do you want God to do for him? Don't cry. You know, I preached a message here and I said, God can do it, Abby, madam. Mm. Since 2005, no child. No messes again. Everything has gone. Madam, stand up. Please, if you are in ministry here, hear me. Reduce your public life. Go back to the secret place and get real power. Genuine grace. Genuine grace. Genuine grace. Let me repeat it, please. If you are in ministry, I say this, please. Reduce public life. Watching football. Going for marriages that you don't have any business. I'm not saying you should not honor people. But the times that we are living in now, the problems on people is not just sermons. People are in real trouble. We must trust God for grace to stay in the spirit until you get something genuine that can solve people's problems. 2005, how many years is that? 14 years, no child, her period ceased completely. The devil sat on it. Let me see how you will have a child. Madam, don't cry. It's okay. I don't know you. I've never seen you. You can see. How will you be sitting there and then God will just call you? I want to pray for you. Madam, please hear me. I'm saying it in the open. I didn't say it in your ears. I want you to go and prepare. Huh? I'm seeing... Where is your husband? Anybody who wants to come and destroy your family by giving you something to drink, eh? In the name of Temeko, I, I, I banish them far. You hear what I'm saying? Because I'm seeing a man, I'm not, please, I love the body of Christ, but I'm seeing someone come, supposedly a prophet, but what this man is doing is not prophecy. Are you getting what I'm saying now? What now? I'm, I'm the only one. Six here. months. Yes. He has gone away. He, he just, I, I went to his office to tell him that I'm coming to Zaria today. So he now said, uh, he, he, now, I, he just looked at me. You are not divorced, <laughs> but he has just gone. Sir? He, he just went, but you are not divorced. Uh, he's saying uh, where, they are, where they are drinking this thing, so he just left me. He may not, don't, don't be too quick to judge the man. See, let me tell you this. You see, Ba, when people go through things, be careful. When you are about to cross people and call them evil and call them this, remember that stability is according to the measure of your understanding of who God is. And there are times that even the strong get pushed to the wall. So don't be too quick. We are people of love. Don't come here and start thinking and saying, especially if you know the woman and think the husband is this, mm -mm. We are not here to show who is right or who is wrong. We are here to show that there is a God in heaven. Are we together? Madam, hold my hands. I command this spirit in the name that is above all names to release your womb in the name of Jesus. Madam, I speak to you. First, may God reconcile you back to your husband. Second, you will take in according to the time of life. Your baby will stay and you will return back to the child. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every orchestration that is not of God to keep you barren and to destroy your marriage, I curse it now in Jesus' name. See, anyone here, I'm, I'm praying for the ladies now, then we'll pray for the sick. We have to be fast. But no, you don't have to come out. But you are here the moment you start a relationship with a guy. He becomes serious and just when he's deciding to do anything marriage it must scatter you continue to enter relationships relationships loving and unloving loving and unloving today you are in love tomorrow nonsense manufactures itself 
I'm praying right now by the anointing of the Holy Spirit because it's a yoke that must be destroyed. I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, inside and outside, anyone who is under that category, by the God of heaven, let the power of God come on you now to end that captivity. Let the power of God come on you now to end that captivity. You see, please give this woman her photo, that woman under the anointing. We have to pray. Um, the Lord is asking me, we are praying. I, I hope I'm not boring you. I'm not wasting your time. The Lord is showing me a family here. I may not ask you to come out, but in this family, you never settle maritally, but you will have children. No matter how you go around it, you find out that you have children out of marriage, out of, and, and it's not like the men will be there to take responsibility and take care of the children. The Lord wants to deliver that family right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah. Why is she coming? Why is she coming out? The, the family is... She just came out on her own. No, don't worry. Well, she, she, she's crying because of her pain. It's possible she's part of that family. But I'm going to pray. Whether you know it or not. You see, the thing about the anointing, I told you. Sometimes God locates people distinctly just to talk to them, to encourage and build their faith. But it doesn't matter where you are. I want to pray now that... that you cannot get married happily with a ring and settle down and have children. But the devil will manipulate that you will continue to have children. I pray right now. I don't know where they are. But in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare that that yoke is destroyed now. We declare that that yoke is destroyed now. That yoke is destroyed now. My dear, look at me. Come. It's your season of laughter. The Lord is saying I should tell you. You see, let me tell you. For all the pain that you've gone through, I want you to hear me. God himself is turning your life around. Because... Let me remind you, even as he has reminded you, that it pays to serve Jesus. Sometimes you will look foolish while you are doing it. Let me encourage someone here. It pays to serve Jesus. It may not look like he will come every day, but the day he comes, he will come with dignity and honor and lift you in a way that whoever has laughed at you will have to bend their head in shame. I'm praying for you. Hold my hands. Father, in Jesus' name, confirm your word. You have said that it's a season of laughter. I call it so and I declare that everything that stands as a blockade to your joy and laughter leaves your way now. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Someone will run out under the anointing. Hold the person and bring the person out. That will be the last prophecy. The power of God is coming on someone. It's not something you can control. By the anointing, you will find yourself rushing out by the Spirit. Please. When that happens, bring the person. I need to speak to the person and then we'll pray for the sick right now. It's a very strange anointing and you will find yourself rushing out by the Spirit. Meanwhile, let this lady come. My dear, hold my hands. Let it end now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it end now. In the name of Jesus, I'm rebuking something you don't know anything about. But in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, it goes now over by the grace of God. There are two ladies here. Only married men look for you. A, a responsible, godly gentleman will never seem to be interested in you. But when you find a married man, sometimes with children... That's the one that will come to you. I'm praying. I know there may be many people, but these are two people in the name that is above all names. I declare right now, whatever is on you that continues to compel married men, 
Kapos Kalibra Atasubati Katia Garu Sekete Barato Shadekata Shaproske Paru Kapa Embregete Shali Karuska Baruta Emprakato Sekata In the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit now. I curse so something is born in here. I curse that spirit now. I curse that devil now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Don't be embarrassed, but I see the spirit of lust on this lady. I stretch my hands. Let that devil leave you now. That a man cannot come and pass this lady quietly and successfully. There's something that must continue to draw in the name of Jesus. By the spirit of the living God, I curse that spirit. And I declare it must let you go now. It must release you now. By the God of heaven, I declare be free from that spirit right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray for the sick. Our time is gone, but we have to do this very fast. And like I said, please, please listen. All the people who will be praying for you, I just want you to believe um, whether you are in overflow one, two, three, if you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, please not standing for anybody. And aside from those who are prayed for, if you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, then join the prayer line here. I want to pray for you myself. Just the fruit of the womb. Are we together? Now, of course, all who are here, you can come for your normal prayer. But particularly, if you, are, if you came here trusting God for the fruit of the womb, this, this fruit of the womb issue is becoming a serious issue. And we need to deal with it once and for all. Now, we're going to do this fast. All the people ministering to you will do it very, very fast and pray for you. While you are doing that, please, how many of us came with our prayer requests? For those of us who are visitors, there's still room for you. You can quickly pen down your request and wave it. Ushers will be moving around to collect PR. Please help them. And let's just make this very fast and make this snappy. But overflow one... Um, overflow two overflow three and then the overflow from the building right to second equa and down let's call that overflow four okay okay there is there is overflow two b then there is overflow four please listen this is overflow one this is overflow two there is overflow two b from this place right to the roadside, second equa down. Then there's overflow four. Just from the gate of overflow three. Then we have overflow three in the main building. And then online. Please make your way. Come out and stand according to those various overflows. There will be people there to minister to you right now. We'll do it very fast. Our time is gone. Please submit your prayer request. I'll be laying hands on all of them here right now. You can just wave them. There will be someone by your side. We apologize for those of you standing because your seats were foiled. You would soon have it back and then be back to your seat. If there are visitors, some of you who are members, clear the way for them. They can sit down temporarily, please. If you are here, you are part of us, you can allow them to sit on your seat pending when their seats will be. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
Praise the Lord. Please rise up on your feet. Thank you for your patience. Stretch your hands to these requests. Please, if there are still requests um, that are not here, let's have them here very quickly so that we can pray. Please understand that this is not a ritual. God really answers prayers. There is a God in heaven who is in this service. This is a prophetic representation of our pain, our expectations. There may not be time to speak to everyone. There may not be time to minister to everyone as we would want to. But then I want us to agree right now. Stretch your hands and begin to pray in the spirit. As I lay my hands upon this request, we are declaring that every request here must be turned into a testimony. Stretch your hands and believe. We are declaring God is answering prayers now. Hallelujah. I stand upon with my bare foot on this prayer request and I declare by the Spirit of God. Even as God has instructed me, I declare that every request here by the Spirit of grace, let it be turned into your testimony. That in the name of that is above all names. There are, hold on please. There are people here, this is a death sentence. There are people here, this is an impossible situation. There are people here, God will, the person God will talk to is far. But I pray, what looks impossible, I bow my knees to the God of heaven, the one who honors me when I pray. And I convert every request here to a testimony this night. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living Lord. I decree and I declare by the spirit of faith that by this time next month you return here rejoicing. the devil lie to you and say it will be as it has always been. Uh-uh. 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 Every anointing that must be released towards your direction for this prayer to be answered, we release it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And every pattern that is not just an individual but is a pattern that is written here as God is visiting you here every other person connected to you whose request you have written here we command a miracle for them where they are in the name of Jesus Christ There are situations here that need the blood. I declare by the mystery of the blood. There are three that bear witness in the heavens. The Father, the Word, and the Spirit. There are three that bear witness in the earth. The Spirit, the water, and the blood. In the name of the Lord God of heaven, by the mystery of the blood of the eternal covenant, we cancel every ordinance that sponsors continuity of this request. In the name of Jesus, And the king could not sleep in the night. And he said, bring me the chronicles. And he saw there written what Mordecai did. Whoever must remember you for this request to be granted. By the God of heaven, we open the book of remembrance tonight.
any man holding what belongs to you, which is the reason why you are writing anything here, we put pressure on them to release it now. Every family here webbed in shame and reproach. It looks like there is no dignity. The speakings of God does not seem to find expression here. I agree with you tonight by the God of heaven. Please help those under the anointing. That by the power of the Holy Ghost, shame and reproach ends this night. Shame and reproach ends this night. Shame and reproach ends this night. Therefore, I decree and declare that these Egyptians you have dropped here, by the God of heaven, may you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. The same way I stand upon this request, I command that you stand upon every challenge. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I speak over your life. The doors that have followed you here closed. In the name of Jesus, please believe. Let your, don't be distracted. Focus on the word of God. In the name of Jesus, I command those doors be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Every grounded ministry here, every grounded business, every grounded family, hear the word of the Lord. I command and I declare, come back to life. Come back to life. Come back to life. Come back to life. Every helper assigned from God who has not yet paid attention to you, and what you request I stand by the God of heaven and in the name of Jesus I compel them to attend to your matters I compel them to attend to your matter I compel them to attend to your matter everything that should have happened and has not yet happened according to the program of God you know you should have entered that level and you are not there by prophecy I push you to that level by prophecy I push you to that level listen you see let me tell you what I'm doing I'm not just speaking I'm placing something upon your life you may not see it but you leave this place and watch what happens to you then you will see things turn around let me pray for you the kind of favor that must bring acceleration to your life. Please receive this one. In the name that is above all names, may that mantle like a cloak. Shakata pakatos. Ke preketos kaparuta. E prekete kotosho pakata. Kratosho des kaparata. Take favor. Take favor. Carry favor. Carry favor. In the name of Jesus. Every area you have struggled in your life, you have done what you know to do. In the name of Jesus, I declare that that struggle comes to end now. Now please listen. The anointing your destiny needs for this season. Please listen. Every season has a grace requirement. Every season. There are doors that don't just open because you stand in front of them. Yesterday's anointing will not move you to tomorrow's place. I pray for you. This is an impartation. Wherever you are, I declare like the dew of heaven, the kind of grace you must carry for this season. Let it land on your destiny now. By this anointing, I forbid you from being ignored. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
I forbid you from being ignored. I forbid you from being trivialized. No man will look down on you. They came to Jesus and said, Rabbi, we know that thou art a man sent from God, for no man can do these things except God be with him. The things that must be done through your hands in this season, for it to be said, this is the Lord's doing. As you are lifting your hands, may a fresh unction from heaven come upon those hands for exploits. Anyone in ministry here, I declare over you, go back to your various assemblies and platforms. Let there be fire on your altar. Fire on your altar. Fire on the ministration. Let the gifts of the spirit work powerfully. In the name of Jesus. We're rounding up. Let's pray over our finances. This issue of finance is bringing many people to their knees. Bringing many families to their knees. Distracting people. The time we should spend on the things of the kingdom. We are focusing on money, what to eat, what to wear, house rent, building projects. It is not the will of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Ebenezer, the helper of men, I declare this month, even beginning from today, Receive strange financial help. Receive strange financial help. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you, strange financial help. Everyone under the sound of my voice, trusting God for an honorable job. Listen, there are jobs that don't have honor. They are time wasters. They are devourers. I pray for you. The kind of job that represents dignity that will honor you and help you to build your home well may the God of heaven give you such a job let me pray for your spiritual life if you have cars you have houses and your spiritual life is not on fire you are not doing well the first index to measure prosperity in the kingdom is the health of your spiritual life that your prayer life fire word life fire fellowship with the spirit fire no room for up today down tomorrow i pray for you fresh fire upon your prayer life fresh fire upon your prayer life fresh fire upon your prayer life fresh fire upon your prayer life, your prayer life. every lukewarmness slumber Glutony, these spirits that destroy your spiritual fervency, I declare in the name of Jesus, receive victory over them. The grace that can keep a man in the presence of God, the, the staying power that you can stay with the word, stay in prayer, not rushing and rush out and one power God is not a magician I pray for you the unction to stay receive it in the name of Jesus every dimension in the spirit that is supposed to have been activated there are some of you now listen there are levels of graces you should have left sincerely there are dimensions of power. There are haziness. Certain dimensions of haziness in your spiritual perception. There is a level of authority. There is an office you should be sitting on now. But it's not yet there. I pray for you. The mantle that will shift you to that level. May that grace come upon you now. The mantle that will shift you to that level. Makatoska barakato. May that grace come upon you now.
Listen. Everything in your life that has refused to grow. God gave you a ministry that has refused to grow. No membership, nobody is placing a demand on your grace. God gave you a business, it has refused to grow. No increase, no impact. Anything that is alive grows. Whatever has stopped growth in your life, I bring that thing to an end now. Finally, let me pray, please. The spirit of infirmity. I told you that this is, this is, I came to pray and rebuke that spirit. Because that spirit, like the angel of death, is moving over families, attacking children, attacking all kinds of people. Headache will just kill a man for nothing. Kata, and they will say it's cancer. Pain around your breast. They will say you have a malignant, a tumor. See, let me tell you, whatever you don't fight to victory will remain in your life. Challenges are not the issue, but that you stand and fight the good fight of faith until you see what God said. If you have not seen what God said, don't stop. I pray for you. The spirit of a warrior, the grace that will cause you to refuse to allow things that are not the will of God. May that grace rest upon you now. As a body of believers, we agree that the spirit of infirmity first over this family, number two over this territory, and number three over the body of Christ. Thou spirit of infirmity, we banish your operation now. Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day nor the noisome pestilence the destruction that wasted at noonday the spirit of death if there is anyone here that death is looming around the corridors of your life or your loved ones or those connected to you spiritually and by bloodline I declare let death lose its grip over you now Receive the last prayer that I pray for you to end this miracle service. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. Please listen. Honor is a real grace. You can do everything to bring honor and yet honor will not come. Honor is not about usurping authority over people. There is a real grace. Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore God, even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. I pray for you. The kind of honor that needs to distinguish you for the sake of the kingdom in this season. May that grace and may that honor rest upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wave your hands everywhere and give Jesus praise. Mighty God. Wave your hands and give Jesus praise. Father, we thank you. By the wave offering we receive. We receive in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please drop your hands. Please let me say this. Let there be no movements till we are done. Every time we are almost done, many of you cancel out everything God has done through disobedience. Just give me two minutes and then we must leave. There are people here who are yet to truly surrender their life. Please keep standing. We believe in soul winning. And in reality, we believe that it is the greatest miracle. There are people here who came to this place confused, looking for Jesus sincerely. Religion refused to give you. Sometimes we men of God disappointed you but you are still looking for Jesus. And there are others who are saying, Apostle, 
I love Jesus, but the way my life is right now, I need help. Now, whatever, whether you are inside, outside, we have two minutes for you. Please, win that war this night. Don't sit down dilly-dallying. You know that you need Jesus. Wherever you are, inside, outside, I don't want you to be ashamed. Aside from overflow 3, overflow 2B, and overflow floor, you can just move to your various projector screens. But you are here. Quickly, I'd like you to run like there's fire on the mountain and stand here right now. Quickly. I don't expect you to be thinking about it. Keep standing. It's something you should know. Keep coming. Run to Jesus. Don't let any friend hold your hand and say, don't embarrass yourself. Don't let any relative keep you bound. Our time is gone, but your salvation is important. Keep coming. Keep coming. Apostle, I want to come, but I'm ashamed. Win that war and come. Apostle, I want to come, but I'm not sure if I'm saved or not. If you are not sure, make your way and come quickly. Apostle, I'm a leader in my fellowship. Join them quickly. We have one more minute, please. Those coming from outside, quickly. Okay. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Those online following from whatever nation, doesn't matter. Once you are following and you can hear my voice, listen to me, please. Believers, listen. It is important. That we never lose out on soul winning. Let me say this. It is not just an evangelical agenda. It is not an orthodox agenda. It is not a man of God agenda. It is the only way men come to this kingdom. No matter what we do. Please you are a man of God here. Hear me. Don't be careless over soul winning. It is important that people be given an opportunity. Except you don't know what salvation is. If you really understand what the new birth is. You will desire even your enemy to be saved. It is the only gateway. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave. Salvation is a giver's gift to you. You receive. I salute all of you who have come here. Some of you are standing here rededicating your lives. Some of you are not even sure what you are doing, honestly. Some of you are here genuinely for the first time. It doesn't matter. You see, the thing about the love of God is that the moment you call on his mercy, he will act as though he's not seeing what is wrong with you again. The mercy of God is powerful. Religion is what drives people away from God. Lift your right hand. Those around the various overflows, join them. Please say after me, sincerely. Jesus is in this place. You are not reciting a poem. This is from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you that you are the Son of God. This night, I receive Jesus as my Savior, my Lord, and my King. I declare that according to Scripture, I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And I declare that I'm not only heaven bound, but I reign in life. I receive of the Holy Spirit from today. I declare and forever that I'm a child of God. Amen. I declare over you by the authority of scripture that your sins are forgiven the Lord himself is granting you a new beginning. I pray that you will know the ministry of the Holy Spirit in a new and a fresh way. I pray for you that you will know the anointing in a mighty way. For many of you who are standing here, may God use you to become mighty men and women of God. In the name of Jesus, I bless you with hunger for spiritual things. I bless you with passion for the house of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen.
a big congratulations. Now, please, I want all of you alongside um, those at the various overflows. There should be someone waving his or her hands. Please, I'd like you to follow them very quickly. And there will be a group of people who will address you. Let's do that very quickly. Let's do that quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Hallelujah. Now, our time is gone, but um, please listen. We're about to take the announcements. Welcome the first timers, and we're done. I sincerely apologize. Pray for us by God's grace. I know that God will grant us the grace. We'll soon have our place, and we'll reschedule our services to allow us finish on time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, I, I, know, I welcome everybody. We're going to welcome the first timers now. But particularly, I just want to honor a few people. First, I want to bless our precious people, the delegates from um, the King's Court and the Oasis. God bless you. <laughs> Hallelujah. The redeemed Christian Church of God. That's, um, that's the church that Nathaniel Bassi pastors. God bless you. Thank you. There are a group of people here, adorable people. These people take... They take care of me so much every time we have a meeting around their place. And um, we love you. Thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. I want us to honor the pastor from Ukraine. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you very much. And um, now I know there are so many people. Please don't find offense. It's by no way belittling you. Every We believe the law of honor is one of our foundational um, values, our pillars here. I just felt... I am indebted to some of the people that are connected to these ones, and so I just wanted to, to do that honor. And I think, I hope I'm right. Yes, it should be him. Um, I saw Elisha Maman somewhere. He just squeezed himself. That's him. May God bless you. Very humble and very great man. I love you. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Every other person who has come here, especially for those of you who came from so very far. Um, aside from those that I called, within a few minutes, I will request that you come um, and stand here so that we will honor you. We believe in honor. And I know that in many churches, they have different ways of receiving people, but we don't fake things and we don't pretend things here. When we call you out to honor you, we really mean it. It's not some Christian stage managed acting, no. Genuinely, sincerely. So wherever you are, Aside from the extreme overflows, I would request that you just move to the front of your projector stand. But for those of us who are here, overflow one, overflow two, please gallantly walk and come right here. If this is your first time worshiping with us, we want to honor you. You're that important and we love you. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Hallelujah. Please stand. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. Let them come while I talk because of time. Keep coming. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing. Keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.